Hey, what's going on guys? If you are looking for a resource on how to build and execute looping campaigns in Infusionsoft, then you are in the right place. Stick around and in just a moment, I'll show you everything you need to know. So in order for a campaign to loop, you need to have a goal that starts it and you need to have a goal that concludes it and then you need to have the sequence or, or whatever you want to, to have repeat in the middle, right? So we'll call this start, we'll call this one stop, and we'll call this, um, you know, repeat process, okay? Um, now the reason I'm using tag goals is because in order for this process to loop, we need the same exact action to conclude it and then to also restart it, right? And there's only a few goal types that can be in two places and be identical, right? I can't use a web form because if I use a web form here um, and then I duplicate it, even if I name it the same, right? If I name it the, the exact same thing, these web forms have their own code. They have their own, like, it's called an XID number. So Infusionsoft recognizes that they are different, right? Um, same thing for landing pages. I can't use a landing page. Uh, task completed wouldn't work because the task completed has to be connected to a sequence. Uh, note applied uh, is only, it, it, you know, the note is created wherever you build that. So there's only really a few goal types that you can use to create a looping process. Uh, you could use product purchased um, and you could also use, uh, you know, opportunity stage goal or um, web page automation goal. So there's there are a couple but far and away, the most common is tag because it is so flexible. There's so many different ways that you can apply a tag. So let's, uh, I think I actually have a tag. Uh, let's call it loop tag. So if they're not in this campaign and that loop tag is applied, it's automatically going to achieve this goal and drop them into this process, okay? So in this sequence, you can do whatever you want. But the first thing that I recommend doing is removing that loop tag. Uh, the reason that I encourage people to remove it right up front is so that um, we can reapply it later and achieve this goal, okay? So um, let's have a delay and an email and a delay and an email, right? This might be a couple of days or a couple of weeks long, right? You can build this out to be as, as long and involved as you like. So email one, email two, there's lots of different reasons why you might um, you know, use a looping process, uh, but let's, let's just add two emails and then what I wanna do now is reapply that tag. So uh, we will select apply and use that same loop tag. Okay, so when they come in, tags removed, emails process, and eventually that tag is reapplied. Um, when the tag is reapplied, uh, it will achieve this goal, which is listing for the exact same tag. Now, the reason that this works, and this is perhaps the most important point, is when uh, a goal is achieved, it processes all the exit functions first. So when this tag is applied, you would think because these goals are identical, how would it know what to do? But the way that the campaign builder logic works is it will first remove them, so this part processes, it pulls them out of the sequence, and then it will reapply that, uh, or it'll achieve this, this goal and, and add them back in. So it effectively draws them out, and then at the same time, or moments later, re-adds them, and that loop is, is infinite. Now, here is a campaign of mine where I actually do use a looping process uh, to follow up with my partners. So this is my partner application process, um, uh, people apply to be a monkey pop partner. I approve them. Um, and then there's the, the bunch of content that I send them here. You're approved. Here's uh, all of your links, etc. But this portion down here is designed to loop. So you can see I have the uh, partner resource loop tag. So they come in organically. They come in the very first time straight through here or straight through here. One of these two paths. And then in here I have, you know, a bunch of emails over a period of months um, and I remove the tag, the partner resource loop tag as a start. And then they go into this empty sequence 
where I wait until a Sunday and I reapply the perpetual referral partner resource loop tag, which uh, achieves this goal, partner resource loop, and achieves this goal, partner resource loop, and puts them back into the appropriate sequence. So uh, this is for non-ICPs, and then this is for ICPs uh, who are partners, because I just speak to those two groups a little differently. So depending on which group you are, you come you come through here, and that tag is re removed and then reapplied, and then you achieve this goal, you achieve this goal, and you go back in, because these emails are delivering links and resources for them, and I want this process to repeat um, you know, twice a year or whatever the interval is. Um, and then for non or for ICPs, it's the same thing. Just uh, like I said, the emails are slightly different, uh, but they go into here and it reapplies that tag and achieves this goal, pulls them back out and continues. Now, I do give them an exit here. Uh, there's a couple links that they can click in here that uh, can remove themselves from that. If they don't want to be in that, uh, you know, ongoing looping component, they can just kind of raise their hand and say, hey, leave me alone. Uh, there's a tag here for stop partner emails. Uh, and I built a page that they, they see when they request out. So uh, that's a, a live example of, um, of, of where a looping process might fit in your campaign. Okay, guys, that is it for looping campaigns. Hopefully that gives you everything you need in order to design and build a looping campaign in your business. If you found this video helpful, uh, then you can do me a favor by sharing it with other people that it may be able to serve. Uh, if it stirred in you an appetite for more campaign builder. If you're thinking, man, this is a tool I, I really wish I understood at a deeper level, then mosey on over to the courses page and check out the CB Trilogy. It is a start to finish comprehensive course designed to help Infusionsoft users maximize the way that they are using the campaign builder in their business. That's it. Later.